On September 24th, 2015, Aaron declared the exhaustion of the Aaron IP address pool. And on the 25th of November, 2019, RIPE NCC announced that it had made a final slash 22 IP version for allocation from the last remaining addresses in our available pool. Something had to be done and engineers came up with a concept of public IP addresses and private IP addresses where these IPs that were running out could be used on the internet side of things. And inside of a network, we could use a completely non-related set of IP addresses that could then be reused from company to company. So today, we're gonna to talk about IP version four and IP version six. So as we delve into the realms of networking, it is essential that you understand that at the heart of network communication lies binary data, that fundamental language composed of ones and zeros. We talked about this a little bit. It is what enables networks to identify where to send data efficiently and accurately. Consider how without a mailing address, we'd be at a loss where to send our letters to. Similarly, network addresses, known as IP addresses, serve as the destination tags for our data over the vast expanse of digital networks and the internet. An internet protocol or an IP address is a numerical label assigned to each device connected to a network. It could be a printer, computer, a router, or a server. And that address is what differentiates your device from the billions of others on the internet or in your network. Every device that we use to browse the internet, check our email, or stream videos has its own unique IP address. You can find your device's IP addresses by visiting a site like whatsmyip.org. Take a moment and go visit that site and see what your public IP address is. The task of managing these IP addresses is handled by the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority, or IANA. And this is a global organization along with its sub-organizations that ensures that IP addresses are distributed fairly and systematically around the world. Today, we have two primary versions of the IP address and distribution, IPv4, and which is what we'll focus most of our attention on. And then there's IPv6. IPv4 has been the foundation of the internet's growth, but as you'll see, IPv6 is the future and it's becoming much more common. An IP version four address is made up of four octets, each one is separated by periods. And these octets represent binary bits that are converted to decimal numbers for readability. A single binary digit is called a bit, and when we string together eight bits, we call it a byte. So for instance, the IP address 10.0.3.254 may appear simple, but there's a lot more that meets the eye. The first octet 10 is actually 00001010 in binary. Our networks interpret this binary data, but it's displayed to us in a form that's simple to understand. The value of each octet in an IPv4 address can range from 0 to 255. That is because the lowest 8-bit value in binary is all zeros, which means 0, and the highest is all ones, which is equivalent to 255 in decimal. Binary to decimal conversions can be complex, but Thankfully, there are tools like BrowserLink's IP to binary and binary to IP converters that simplify this process for us. Be sure that you spend a few minutes looking at these tools and becoming familiar with them. Now, with the advent of IPv6, we are looking at a newer version of IP addresses that are designed to address the limitation of IPv4 address space. Because unlike IPv4, IPv6 uses eight groups of hexadecimal numbers, which expands the number of possible addresses exponentially. IP addresses are categorized into two types, public and private. Public IP addresses are accessible over the internet, which is great for services that need to be reached globally. However, this does expose them to potential cyber threats. Private IP addresses, on the other hand, are used only within a local area network or a LAN and provide a secure environment since they're not accessible from the internet. There are specific ranges that are reserved for private IP addresses. For example, any address starting with 10.172.116. all the way up to 172.31. and 192.168. Those are all designated for private IP use. These addresses are not routed on the public internet and they can be reused across different lands without any conflict. They can be used in your home, in your office, at the store, anywhere you go, they can use those private IP addresses over and over. Any IP addresses that do not fall within these private ranges are deemed public and form the addresses that navigate the global internet. They are the addresses that take our data across continents in milliseconds and allow our increasingly interconnected world to communicate. So as we wrap up, remember that the binary data and the IP addresses are more than just numbers. 
They are the pillars that uphold our digital communications. And as we advance in the course, your understanding of these concepts will become crucial in navigating and shaping the future of the networks that you interact with.